Hey folks. So I got this grill guard that my wife bought me for my birthday. It's gonna go on the front of my coyote tractor. Notice the coyote on there. Uh, this came from Broken Anvil uh, Metalworks. You can find them on uh, Facebook, I believe. Uh, and they also have a website, I believe. Um, I don't know their, I don't know the link, but it's Broken Anvil Metalworks. But anyway, so uh, I'm gonna spend the next little bit putting this thing on. So tag along and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm just following the uh, instructions that was printed out and uh, sent with the uh, grill guard. So the first thing it says to do is take these two top bolts off and uh, they're probably millimeter, but I found my three quarter socket works. So I'm gonna take those two bolts out. There's no nuts on the back of these. They just, they're threaded. So uh, I don't have to worry about a nut on the other side. I've had this off before because I had to replace this when I damaged the first one. So I know these come off pretty easily. So now it says remove these two bolts because we're going to replace them with longer bolts. So these two bolts here, there's one on this side and one there. So it says to uh, remove those because there's going to be some longer bolts that were supplied by um, the broken anvil uh, that are going to go in there. So I need to take those two out. And it says it's a 14 and 17 millimeter socket or wrench. And it says to keep these engaged so this doesn't fall forward. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to take those out. I'd be better off taking the loader, moving the loader up. Yeah, put a wrench on that. Yep. Sure, this would be a lot easier if I lifted the loader, got it out of the way, but I'll try it this way first. Nope. So now it says put these longer bolts inside there so it's flush with the inside of the frame. I'm sure it's to give it room for the guard to go in. I think we'll just set those in there. Leave them right there. Slide this one in. I'll just get it started right there. I didn't put the note on it yet. And so that'll give it room for the guard to slide in. Alright, so now it says here to put this in place it has these tabs and that's what the bolts will go through on the on the uh 
bottom side and the top side will have to be drilled out up here. Um, so for now it says to put these in place and then just hold it, hold it up in place with a zip tie until I can mark the holes to drill them out. So now I'm gonna try to finagle this in here. Go on that side. Okay. I'll go ahead and put the, I'll just start the lock nuts. It has little lock nuts on here. So I'll just get them started so I don't lose these. Of course, I shouldn't have put these nuts on after all. But at least I didn't put them on tight. Always get ahead of myself. But nice. right, so this will probably go inside right there. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Back flush. I'm trying to figure out if these go to the inside of this or in between. I'm kind of thinking it looks like they probably go. It looks like they go to the inside of it, so that's good. All right, so let me just put this one back flush. There we go. Flip this up a little bit. Let's see, I can probably, I can probably zip tie this now. Let me just. So I think we're good there. Put this down here. Let's see. I think this goes on the inside, just like that. There we go, okay, now I got it. So, this piece, you see how it angles in, this goes this way, and the tabs face out, face forward. Okay, now I got it, okay. All right, so now, I don't know if I can slide it in there. And then I can just run those bolts back in there. All right, perfect. Now we're in good shape. Let me go just check and make sure to read my instructions before I go bolting things on. But I think I can go ahead and put these nuts on these bolts and run those bolts back in there, I believe. And these instructions, by the way, they're very clear on what to do. I'm not sure if that's coming out backwards or not, but it tells you to slide the bottom insert. This is the bottom insert and this is the top insert. So it tells you to slide the bottom insert in from the back side, but I got ahead of myself and I wasn't really paying attention. But so now, so I can go ahead and push the, uh, the pivot bolts through and start the lock nut, but do not tighten, it says. Do not tighten. So I won't. So now, I'll get in here one way or another. Get these bolts. A little hard to get to now. I got that one started. All right. Here we go. All right, that one started. I just got it to where it would got a little resistance, so not tight at all. Very loose in there right now. Okay. Now it says next. Whoops. 
Push the pivot bolts through the upper and lower insert. Start the lightning with that. Now we're now we're good. Hand start the two factory bolts. Okay, so now I got to put these two bolts back in here and just just get them started by hand. I think they're in my pocket. Not gonna tighten these yet either. That's just done by hand. That's not really tight at all. So I'm guessing we'll have to drill these out next. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Tighten the pivot bolt. Lock net on the pivot bolt so the insert mounts or tabs are tight against the framework. Okay, so now it says go ahead and tighten these two bolts down. It says do not over tighten these as the bolt must remain free to rotate the grill, to rotate in the guard frame so that the frame is able to fall forward. So we want these tight, but we don't, we don't want them too tight so the whole grill can't come down when you need it to. So I'll tighten these up now. I'm gonna make it easier on myself this time. Put some vice grips on this, on the bolt. It's a little easier to get to. This probably would have been a whole lot easier if I would have raised the loader, but since I didn't, this will work just fine. Make sure I don't get it too tight because I, I want the grill to be able to fall forward when I need it to. Well, it fit the first time. want it to be rattling. So I think it's probably secure. I want, I want the threads to come through the nut a little bit. time I get these two drilled and, and bolted up then uh, they won't rattle. I think that's all there is to do next is check the instructions here. Let's see what else we got. Okay tighten the lock nut. Da, 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 da. Do not over tighten. Tighten the factory framework. Okay so now I can go back and tighten these bolts. There's that. Now what's up? 
Remove the zip tie, position the top of the insert so that the small gap is between the, so you wanna make sure the tabs are on the inside, which they are. So the mounting tab should approximately align with the back of the upright in its position. So the tab should be flush with the back of the frame here. So it shouldn't protrude forward or behind it at all. So I think I'm ready to drill it out. Let's see. I do believe. Use a marker, marking device. Mark the location of the two top holes for the tabs. Rotate the top of the insert forward to gain access to the drill to drill the necessary holes. And it recommends 11 32nd bit. So hopefully I have a 11 32nd drill bit somewhere. I'm going to take the zip tie off. So let me get a marker. Go ahead and mark these out. And I'll just, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing here so you can see the back side of this. So if you see here, these tabs, I'm trying to look and see if I can see it in the camera. There it is. Wait a minute, here it is, right here. So you want these tabs, these little inserts to be flush with this section right here. So I'll just hold it flush there and I'll mark those so I can drill them out. Now, try to drill those out. So I couldn't find a 11 32nd bit, but I, I was just went down through all my bits and find out which one fit the hole best. And uh, so I'm using a 5 16th right now. So I'm gonna try that out and see if it's big enough. I think it will be. So I got a little spring punch. I'm just gonna try to put a dent in here. Maybe it'll help a bit from drifting. Of course, a nice bit would be good too. send you these little allen bolts um, so I guess the allen bolt goes this, in this way that's the way we'll make it go that's perfect this side there we go and it's a washer and a lock nut Okay, now let me go find a socket for that. Do you believe 13 millimeter?
All right, there we go. Everything's tight. Should be good to go. Tighten all those, tighten those, tighten these. Let's see. I don't want those any tighter than they are. And the two factory bolts are back to where they were. So I think that's it. So these instructions were really easy to follow. Um, there was nothing to it. The hardest part was drilling the holes and accessing those bolts, uh, those nuts, once I had the inserts in because they're a little hard to get to, but it's really not that bad. Um, but these insert, but these instructions, now of course this is a, a CK2610 and so you have to order the right guard for the right model. This one is for the 2610, 3510, and 4010 but um, the 2021 model. So I don't know um, if those have changed uh, since then, but uh, you know, so they, they have a drop down list that you can go in and check which, which model you have. And uh, so they have all different, different designs. I just went with this one. I like this one. It has the little coyote emblem and then these little cutouts or little coyote shaped uh, cutouts, which I think are pretty cool. And then you can also do custom custom text, you know, custom uh, uh, labels or whatever you want right here. So I didn't do all that. And it also comes in uh, black, if you want black. Uh, I went with the orange. I was hoping it would match. Uh, this paint's a little bit newer than my paint, uh, so it doesn't match exactly, but I'm sure it'll fade and end up being pretty close. <laughs> but uh, I'm very happy with it. So it should uh, help protect, you know, cause I'm, when I'm brush hogging, you know, I, I worry about, you know, running sticks and brush and stuff through my grill. So this was, this was, uh, that was the whole point of this is to protect the grill. And uh, so I found this on, uh, on uh, Facebook and, and one of the coyote owner tractor groups, they posted about uh, the broken anvil metal work. So I went on there and checked them out. And they, you know, they have all kinds of stuff. So I'll give you, um, I'll show you their card if you can see it i don't know if it's focusing or not and my hands covering it but um it's broken anvil metalworks.com and they're also on facebook so uh and their number is 248-472-7840 uh i'm not affiliated with them at all i'm just a customer or my wife's a customer she bought this for me she saw me looking for it and uh had a birthday coming up so she jumped on that opportunity and, and took it I don't know if you hear that, but uh, there's some baby goats back here whining. I'm not sure if you hear it. <laughs> but anyway, those aren't my goats, neighbor's goats. It's pretty cool though. But anyway, so if you're interested in a guard for your coyote tractor, Broken Anvil Metalworks, check them out. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. We got a few cutaways. They're supposed to be in that. They're supposed to be in that pasture across the road, <laughs> but they always get out, and come over here, and eat the grass. Which I kind of like that, <laughs> unless I got a mother.